Welcome to Movie Math and Science and Global Winds. The Earth is not heated evenly. This uneven heating of the Earth produces pressure belts, and these pressure belts occur at about 30 degrees of latitude. The combination of these convection belts and the Coriolis effect, which is the curving of the path of winds and the oceans due to the Earth's rotation, causes global wind patterns. In this video, I'd like to look at the major global winds. Up first are the polar easterlies. They blow from the northeast in the north and the southeast in the south. These belts extend from the poles to 60 degrees latitude. The polar easterlies are formed as cold sinking air moves from the poles towards 60 degrees north and 60 degrees south latitude. Next are the westerly and they blow to the west. These wind belts are found between 30 degrees and 60 degrees latitude in both hemispheres and are called the westerlies. The westerlies flow towards the poles from west to east. The westerlies can carry moist air over the United States producing rain and snow. Next are the trade winds. They blow to the southeast in the south and northeast in the north. In both hemisphere the winds that blow from 30 degrees latitude almost to the equator are called trade winds. The Coriolis effect causes the trade winds to curve to the west in the northern hemisphere and to the east in the southern hemisphere. Next are the doldrums. The trade winds of the northern and southern hemisphere meet in an area around the equator called the doldrums. In the doldrums there is very little wind because the warm rising air creates an area of low pressure. And finally the horse latitudes at about 30 degrees north and 30 degrees south sinking air creates an area of high pressure. The winds at these locations are weak. These areas are called the horse latitudes. According to legend, this name was given to these areas when sailing ships carried horses from Europe to the Americans. When the ships were stuck in the windless area, horses were sometimes thrown overboard to save drinking water for the sailors. Remember, this is just a legend. Most of the world's deserts are located in the horse latitudes because the sinking air is very dry. So there we go, the major global winds of the world. Thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.